Hey guys, so this game is called The Armoire, and the description is a woman is married to a man who teases her about a locked armoire that he keeps in her chambers. One night while he sleeps, she decides to investigate the manor and open it. So, it should be interesting. Um, <sighs> jump in, shall we? I married him three weeks after my 17th birthday. He was the best match I could possibly make. Him being rich and decently fine of figure. Wow. Uh, although we are but newlyweds, I do think I have found love. Few of my acquaintance are so blessed to have a husband such as dear Richard. But yet he keeps a locked armoire in the chambers. Uh, not but yesterday, Richard told me that I have the finest stitch he had ever seen. Oh, to hide my blushes behind a thimble. Uh, he keeps this armoire locked. Though it is in my quarters, he begs me not to think on it. But I confess that I have spent many a night wondering as I fell asleep. It's pouring rain outside. First of all, she must be in Okinawa because it has literally rained for like eight days straight. And there's like more rain on the way. I am so, I love the rain. I love it. And the thunderstorms, they don't bother me. I like that. But sometimes, like, you have things you want to do. Like, you can't, uh, you don't want to do it when it's raining outside. Um, so this art style is definitely interesting. Uh, Richard gave me this perfume. He does dote on me so. Uh, reading is the keenest pleasure I have known, and my husband's library affords me many books. We shall take that. Perhaps I can use this to lighten the room a bit. These unlit candles certainly are dreary. Can you light them with your uh, candlestick there? Hmm. Okay. My lord keeps a large and drafty estate. Many of the rooms are locked during the winter months, but I have not been here long enough to see the spring. How bright and grand the house shall seem. Maybe. Uh, Richard spoke of the armoire again yesterday as I took tea with him. To what purpose does he tease me so? Wow, okay, the room certainly is dark when the candles aren't lit. Uh, these old houses are strange. Shall I go through the passage? I will share my adventure with Richard in the morning. It's probably not a great idea, but... Okay. Uh, what a beautiful chandelier. Perhaps I should light it. Should we, like, pull it up first, or...? So, all right, all right, all right. What a beautiful piano. It's missing keys. Hmm. I don't see anything else. This will go back out of the passage. Oh, okay. Well, let's explore. Some more. How odd. This is the same perfume that my husband gave me this month past. Okay. I think I already know what's going to happen. Every one of the rooms are going to have, like, the same stuff. And a woman is going to be in the armoire. A dead woman. So he, like, kills them. And then puts them in the armoire. And when they find out, he just kills them. And then he just repeats the process. 
Uh, dearest Mama, our little boy died last night. I admit that I can hardly believe it. With every moment, I expect him to come bursting into my room, demanding his nightly lullaby. Richard has not taken the death well. He has never been a good man, but he loved Teddy. I fear that he will do now that our baby is gone. He has taken to making me play Teddy's lullaby over and over. The music soothes him, but it does not soothe me. I am so melancholy. And I did miss what she said. Uh, Richard is my husband, but he has never mentioned a child to me or that he is a widower. I can hardly believe this letter is about him. Girlfriend, there are probably lots of things you don't know. All right, piano keys, huh? Okay, so that's the same thing. Wow, that looks like that might be the family. That man is my husband, but that woman is not me. That child is not mine. Does he not love me as he did them? Look, the face is scratched out. Strange. I have dreamed of the day I might hear my own child laughing through the halls of this house. My husband claims he cannot produce an heir, but I wonder now if that was a falsehood. Uh-oh. Might be. Uh, this door is locked. There must be some way to open it. Okay. So let's go back to the piano. So he had a child with another woman and failed to mention this. I think I heard a door open. Oh, oh that's not good. So I've never actually played like these kind of point and click adventure games um, or mystery games. I've I haven't played them on my channel and I haven't played them at all. So this is definitely a new adventure for us. Uh, that looks like a weapon. A pair of scissors. There's something on them. What on earth? Girlfriend, that's blood. I can tell you that right now. Um, I cannot get past this broken arm. Stairs. What a strange servant's hall. Very strange indeed. Uh, a fine garment to be sure, cast off in haste, whether in happy passion or in anger, I cannot say. I wonder if I know the man who owns the house enough to ever be sure. I cannot presume to know this woman, but I see myself in her fine stitch. Who was she to Richard? This cannot be another wife. Mm-hmm. What Holly say? Another woman with my husband? To speak it true, I do not know that I can claim Richard as my husband any longer when I see how little he has told me of this. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Richard, you are in trouble. Today I have seen Peter again. Truly to be with a man that views me as his equal is the dearest pleasure I have known. Richard has been odd, but I do not think he suspects. He would never design to think his wife might dally with a servant. And yet, Richard claims that he has dismissed dear Peter. As lady of the house, I should and must write him a good recommendation. But Richard says that Peter will not need a letter and that I am no lady. He has locked me in my quarters, the brute. I will not stand for this when he returns. Well, that's not good. Hmm. It's locked. A darling, meet me in the passageway at 1130. Remember, it's nine on the clock. Peter. This clock is missing its hour hand. Well, that's a little strange. So, did I miss something? I don't think I did. 
I don't think I'm ready to stop exploring quite yet. Okay, so I guess I did miss something. Um. Okay, maybe... I don't know why I picked up the cloth. Okay, well that- oh, whoa, what was under your dress? Okay. So now let's go to the clock. Uh, let's up the hand. There, now it should be working in working order. Uh, let's see. Said, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Say, wait, what did that note say? It said 11. Meet me in the passageway at 11.30. Remember, it's nine on the clock. Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go around? Oh, no. <laughs> Was that a door opening? Yes, it was. All right. You're exploring this house. You are a brave woman. How can we not go right? That was a little weird. Oh boy. Okay, so let's... No! Thank you! What is all of this? This wallpaper, though. I felt like the eye was somewhere. Mr. Ingram, I write to inform you that your daughter, my wife, passed away last night. Kind words cannot soften this blow. I have inherit I have interred her remains in the family mausoleum and taken care of the rest. Regards, Richard. So, yeah, all of these people have died. Uh, Mr. Ingram is my father. Richard has informed my family of my death. A fact I know to be false. This cannot be born. Only a man of great vanity would place the likeness of himself in his chambers. Well, girlfriend, I got some news for you. You gotta dump him. A gun, a sword, and a bloody woman's dress. I have often hoped I might find what is in the locked armoire in my own chambers, but I have learned too much about Richard tonight to hope for the... Ooh, a key. And here it is, a key that looks to match my armoire. I find that I do not wish to look, and yet I cannot go on living if I do not see inside. The struggle was real. A beautiful beast torn from its place and brought here to this narrow and pinched world. Maybe, uh, just made that up. <laughs> My husband relishes the death of lesser animals. That includes women, I assume. He is gonna be so mad. Here lie my curious wives. Well. Richard is the devil, and so he shall meet the flames. Oh boy. I shall not deface the dead. She is gonna kill this man. Goodbye, my love. <laughs> and she just walks away. She's like, nah, nah fam. Let's get out of here. There must be a way out, but it's not in this direction. Maybe that window? I will make my escape. Huh? 
Well, there goes old Richard. All right, guys. So that was the armoire. It was pretty cool. Like I said, I've never played like the point and click adventure games uh, or mystery games or anything. So that was kind of fun for the first one. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys liked that because I'll definitely do some more on the channel. Uh, something a little different. So, yeah. Um, definitely a pretty cool game. Interesting story and uh, cool. So, yeah. I downloaded it for free on itch. So if you guys enjoyed it, you should definitely check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.